Good morning. Hi, babies. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Good morning. There you go, Hucky. Hi, Apple. Good morning, guys. Hey, Tubbies. Reese. I held it. Good girl. I forgot to put my mask on. How is everybody today? Well, it's warm in here. Hey, bud. Get your fresh bed, that one's wet. Here, sweetie. Good boy. Yes, buddy. Where are you go? <laughs> you done already, Angus? Okay, can I get all the poops where you're standing, bud? Thank you. Thanks. I'll turn this. I gotta get it set on top of your heat pad. There you go. Here's orchard grass for you. Good boy. Okay, you guys next. How are you guys? Can I put them? Hey, cutie. Hey. 
<laughs> you guys playing? Okay, I have to go around to reach the rest. Hi, Angus. How are you, bud? You little cutie. Okay. I think you guys are good. Everybody's sleeping here. Hey, Tubbies, let's get your meds while I'm standing over here, okay? Good girl. don't need anything, Ray. Thankfully. Good girl. This bottle is just about done. Hardly anything left in there. Good girl. Okay, next. Hi, Apple. Looks like you guys didn't even use the one side of your cage. How come? You like being by the other piggies? I love you. I love you. Okay, so I bet we got the big mess over here then, don't we? Yes, yes we do. Okay. Okay, so that hay is dry, the rest is wet. Who's chewing? Oh, bullseye. You got a bit more to wait, dude. Not even finished the last cage yet. Hey, girls. Guess we'll clean that. Just put these out last night, but they obviously did all their partying over here. So we got your dry stuff. Hi, Velvy. Perfect.
Can you steal in there, hey? This looks like nice hey guys there we go you bopping around Velvy okay so now you guys are last let's get you tidied up you peek in What have we got? Not too bad. Where are you, sweetie pie? You doing okay? Hi. Hi, Velvet. You always have such a funny look on your face. Oops. Okay, we're getting to the messy zone. A lot of this hay was recycled from everybody else when I cleaned cages. Just decided to throw it all in their pen so that they would pick through whatever was still good. So it's going to seem like we're wasting a lot from them. But whatever they haven't ate. Like this is all the Timothy. I have a love-hate with Timothy. Sometimes when you give them Timothy, they love that it's something different and textured and all that. But then on the same hand, a lot of the hard stalks, they have zero interest in eating. So this is all like kind of yellowish hard pieces that came from each of these guys' cage that I threw in here. And there's still tons left, so obviously nobody's interested in it. I should have brought a bin in here to put this stuff in, so I have to go get one from the laundry room so we're not going to be using any of that hay sorry sadly just sometimes I find when I only use orchard grass they get a little bit bored and then you give them Timothy and for a while it's awesome I'll be right back come on guys okay let's do this without spilling everywhere Okay, we'll sweep that up. I'm not done guys, I still got a little bit to put down. <laughs> well, there's pink on the gingerbread man, so I ran out of red.
Hey, excuse me, sweetheart. Beep beep. Thank you. You being silly, Velvet? I like seeing a happy Velvet. She's so cute when she plays. Okay, I'll get you guys a big stack of orchard grass then. <laughs> okay, so next I've got to get their veggies started. This is where I put pecan in while everybody's eating their vegetables. Just put some hay in there and she hangs out there eating her hay. So let's get that set up. And now we'll go get our veggies and we'll be back. Okay, the veggie fairy's here. So we are still waiting for some wheatgrass to be grown for us. We get that locally. And she just has to call us once it's long enough for her to cut. And then we'll have wheatgrass again. Because definitely these little turkeys miss having wheatgrass. Autumn loved it. Because she kind of always seems like she's looking for it. And then she's like, ah, I guess I have to eat this stuff. So this is just some radicchio and green pepper. And I have to find pecan. She's starting to know that she gets taken out. Okay. You go onto a couch or something. Then it's easier to catch ya. Good girl. I'm sorry. It stinks. Okay, and then we'll come around here. Give you guys stuff right up here. So I don't feed like a pile of veggies, you're gonna notice. I just feed enough that lasts them for like literally two minutes and then they're done. Because overfeeding veggies, they get softer poops. They're not drinking or eating as much hay. So I just give them some for some vitamin C, for some something else to taste and eat, but I don't go overboard. 
because it's just not worth it. I really liked when we had the wheatgrass because that was something extremely healthy and good for their teeth and everything and good for their tummies and has lots of vitamin C in it. So I'll be glad once we can start picking that up again. The lady had run out of seeds and had to wait for more to be shipped. Otherwise, we were literally going to our house every two weeks to refill our stock. It was great. But in the meantime, we're doing green pepper and radicchio. And another thing I find if I give, say like these girls are a prime example, if I give too many veggies, they just end up leaving them. And then I need them to eat their veggies pretty quickly so that I can put pecan back. I can't wait forever to put her back, especially in the mornings when I have to go to work. So I give them enough that they're gonna finish pretty quick so that pecan can get back with them. So next, while they're eating that, I give out their pellets. I lost my measuring cup, so I haven't been measuring pellets. So I'm just using this little ceramic pellet dish. So you must have given you guys too much yesterday, you didn't even finish yours. I have to go buy a measuring thing. So bullseye, we're gonna dump this out and make new stuff. This is a day old now, so we need to get rid of it. He seems to like eating the Sherwood mix from a bowl much better than the pellets. I still leave pellets in his dish though, if he wants them. So another thing I do while waiting is fill up with any waters that need it. This one's pretty low, so we'll get that going. Take this back with us. And I don't have to worry about pecan. She just stays in there. And I'm just next door. Might as well sweep up our mess while we're waiting too. Hi sweetie. You guys could use more water. Hey, sweeties. Okay, you ladies finished. So I always just have to check. Sometimes they leave little pieces of radicchio stem or something. Hi which I don't want pecan eating any of because that's how bad she reacts. Just a little bit of something and it bugs her. Okay, I don't see anything left. Okay, hey princess. Hi. You ready to go back with your friends? This is how much pecan does not like being picked up. Even in a tiny little container, we run around. There you go, sweetheart. So we'll set that back under for tomorrow. There. How is everybody? Everybody's got their hay now. 
that's a nice hay, okay? Hi, my sweetie. You're so gorgeous. Love you guys. Love you, little bubby boo. Okay, so that's it for the morning. Everybody is all set. Got fresh hay, fresh cages, fresh water. Everybody has pellets, clean beds. What more could you ask for?